Hi everybody, Random Reviews here. Today I'm reviewing a new book for you. It is called The Rescuers by Marjorie Sharp. This is the New York Review Children's Collection and it's absolutely gorgeous. The design and the binding of the book are very well done. So it's actually illustrated by Garth Williams who actually illustrated two of E.B. White's novels. Stuart Little and Charlotte Webb and his illustrations in the book are all black and white which are actually very gorgeous illustrations. I'm a big fan of black and white illustrations. I like the colored ones but I prefer black and white. I think they give such a uniqueness to the book. So this was actually published originally in 1959 and it's 149 pages. This is actually the first in the Rescuer series. You probably are familiar with the Disney animated productions of the Rescuers and the Rescuers Down Under. And they follow the same characters, um, Miss Bianca and Bernard in the movie that they follow in the book. This book was not actually what the movies though were based off of, not this exact book. I'm not sure which books in the series they follow, but at this point I haven't seen which one they follow. But I do know that this is what the Rescuers, the Disney productions are based on, this series. So this, it's, this series is an adventure, it's a rescue, it's a friendship, and it's also a society. So the society is the Prisoner's Aid Society, which is made up of mice who actually go and rescue prisoners or they go and give a word of encouragement to a prisoner. The friendship is between Niles, a Norwegian mouse that the other main characters, Miss Bianca and Bernard, need to go to talk to this Norwegian poet in the dreaded black castle. There we go. That was easy. Um, Miss Bianca is the pampered mouse who's a pouch mouse. She actually is the pet of the ambassador's son. You don't really find out who, which ambassador it is. You just know it's the ambassador's son. And Bernard is the pantry mouse who is also has a medal of honor for bravely I believe fighting a cat and the rescue is as I already stated is these three mice our main characters going to the dreaded black castle to rescue this Norwegian poet and the adventure is them getting there them even starting the mission them being in the castle trying to figure out how they're going to rescue this poet, how they're going to take him and get him out into the open after they get him out of the castle. And it's really just how they all grow from the situations they are in. Um, I must say my favorite character in the entire book was Bernard. Even in the TV shows, Bernard was my favorite the movies I should say and I just found Miss Bianca's character a little immature I found her very pampered to the point that she was almost backward in a way I don't want to say that and let me explain that um, she really doesn't know how the real world is for a mouse she really doesn't understand that you can't just be a sheltered mouse living in a pagoda the your whole life and out in the real world everything will be just like that. No, for a normal mouse in the story that's not how it is. And you really see a small growth in Miss Bianca's character throughout the story. She doesn't really just think of herself at the end of the book. At the beginning of the story, she's really more about herself, what her boy needs, and at the end, she's still like that, but 
there is a difference in certain things that she thinks of. Even if she doesn't speak it, she does think it. And I really enjoyed the read. I'm hopeful to pick up the rest of the books in the series. I think it's a fun read. The writing style of Marjorie Sharp I found was very different to read. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of how she wrote. Uh, I Maybe somebody else who has read this book, maybe you know the same thing I'm talking about. Um, it just, it was a different style of writing. Maybe it's because it was written in 1959, but I found it a little... There were times where I had to reread things because the author had worded it really weird. And don't get me wrong, I'm not an English major or anything, but it's just, it was a very weird way of forming the sentence. But I definitely would recommend reading this. I think if you uh, were interested in something fun to read, definitely pick this up. And it's made me want to go back and rewatch The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. I still, maybe it's because I grew up watching them, but I really enjoyed them. And I really enjoyed this story. And I can't wait, I can't wait to pick up the rest of the series. So go and pick up a random book and read. Bye, guys.